Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Saudi Arabian Grand Prix 2022. F1 Live. Red Bull and Ferrari fight for win. Latest updates and news. Summary of headline article. And welcome to our live coverage for the 2022 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix from the Jeddah Corniche. Circuit in Jeddah. Obviously. There has been a lot of talk. Rightfully. About whether this race should be going ahead in Saudi Arabia. Saturday was. At least. A quiet day off track but you get the feeling that the thorny issue of racing in Saudi Arabia is. Not going away just yet. Another clear question about racing in Saudi Arabia comes with the track layout and yesterday was. Another good example of the suitability of the circuit. He beat the two Ferraris of Charles Leclerc, just 0.025 seconds behind, and Carlos Sainz. As well as teammate Max Verstappen. From the sun under the main headline of Chelsea to have new owners before end of season as deadline. Set for bids. Summary of headline article. Chelsea are set to have new owners in place by the end of next month, with four bidders left in. The frame. U.S. investment bank Rain Group has told the four remaining contenders they have until April 11th to submit revised bids for the club. But it appears increasingly likely that Chelsea's future will be settled well before the end of the season. All four bidders still in the contest have links to U.S. sports franchises, with only two of the contenders having genuine British links. Obviously I'm away with England. So that stuff is kind of parked and I'm focusing on England duty and what I can do while I'm away. From Mail Online under the main headline of Italy's misfiring forwards to blame for an embarrassing. World Cup exit. Summary of headline article. In the inquest into Italy's disastrous World Cup elimination by North Macedonia. It will not take long to point the finger at the prime suspects. In contrast, England's Harry Kane scored 12 himself, while the English team netted 39 en route to Qatar. Italy squandered 32 attempts against North Macedonia, one of them a golden chance for Berardi, who failed to capitalize on a mistake by the North Macedonia goalkeeper. Stoll Dinitrevsky. In England, 38% of minutes were played by national players. The highest for more than a decade. In this context, it is easier to explain Italy's failure to qualify for the 2018 World Cup and the latest. Catastrophe. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Root faces the music as England fall off a cliff in. Latest damaging tour. Summary of headline article. Joe Root faced the music as a defeated England test captain once more. And with it came the same question he has been asked many times in the last six months. However since their trip to India in 2021. When they broke up the test team on the grounds of well-being and continued to prioritize white. Ball cricket and IPL contracts. The side has fallen off the edge of a cliff. Whether they admit it or not. That was a move that only made Windy's coach Phil Simmons' team talks easier. Time and again England come to this part of the world and underestimate their hosts. Twice it has happened to Root now. And twice he has been thrashed in Australia. From Metro under the main headline of Paul Pogba takes another dig at Man United on international duty. With France. Summary of headline article. Paul Pogba is set to leave Manchester United on a free transfer. Photo by Michael Regan. Getty Images. Manchester United midfielder Paul Pogba has taken a fresh swipe at his club by claiming it's a breath of fresh air, to play for France.
the midfielders made a habit of saving media duties until he's on international duty. When he can conduct interviews in French. And Pogba took another dig at United today by saying it's a breath of fresh air when he can go on international duty to play for France. Pogba says he's happier on international duty. Photo by James Gill. Dane House, Getty Images. Asked if playing for France was a breath of fresh air. Pogba replied. Totally. The season is not over yet. But almost because we don't have any more titles to play for. From the Sun under the main headline of Redditch United devastated after shock death of midfielder. Tom Rankin. 26. Summary of headline article. Tributes have poured in following the news non-league footballer Thomas Rankin has sadly passed. Away at the age of 26. Redditch United are devastated to hear of passing of midfielder Thomas Rankin. RipTomPick.Twitter.com slash LDE2B3DSR. Redditch United. At Redditch UTD. March 27. 2022 A statement read. Redditch United are devastated to hear of passing of midfielder Thomas Rankin. Lemmington. Who Rankin briefly played for. Added. Our sincere condolences to everybody at Redditch and to Tom's friends and family. Redditch United manager Matt Clark tweeted. Life is so precious people. From the sun under the main headline of Vitaly Klitschko gives Usyk blessing to rematch Joshua and offers to give advice. Summary of headline article. Vitaly Klitschko has backed Oleksandr Usyk's decision to leave Ukraine and train for a rematch with Antony Joshua. 3. Vitaly Klitschko backed Oleksandr Usyk's decision to rematch with Antony Joshua credit. AP3 Antony Joshua was beaten by Oleksandr Usyk in September credit. AP and it threatened to postpone his sequel with Joshua. 32. Who was instead contemplating a confidence-building interim bout. Former boxing champ Klitschko. Now the mayor of Kiev. Has thrown support to his countrymen and will even offer him some advice. Usyk. Who had joined a territorial defense battalion. Broke his silence online to confirm his decision to exit Ukraine to fight Joshua. He posted. I decided to start preparing for a rematch with Anthony Joshua. A large number of my friends support me. All the rest of the good and peace. From Daily Star under the main headline of Christian Eriksen hit by coin in interview after scoring. For Denmark. Summary of headline article. For the latest from the pitch sign up for our football newsletter Christian Eriksen was shockingly. Hit by a coin in a post-match interview following his performance for Denmark. The 30-year-old Brentford player came on at halftime to a standing ovation before his sublime. Effort on his first touch made it 3-2. Eriksson then scored to give the Danes a fighting chance. Before Bergwijn got his brace with 20 minutes remaining. Eriksson. Who has 37 goals for his national side. Spoke about his return to the national game. Consequently. Eriksson has his inter-contract terminated in December. Before signing for fellow Dane Thomas Franks Brentford on a six-month deal. From Mail Online under the main headline of Verratti calls on Italy's fans not to target young. Players. Summary of headline article. Marco Verratti has pleaded with Italy's distraught fanbase to not target the national teams. Younger players following their shocking failure to qualify for the World Cup. The Paris Saint-Germain star played the full 90 minutes on Thursday as the Azzurri crashed to a shock 1-0 stoppage time defeat by North Macedonia in Palermo. Knocking them out of the finals at the playoff semi-final stage. While North Macedonia will now play Portugal for a place in Qatar this winter.
Italy will now contest a friendly with fellow semi-finalist losers Turkey in Konya. I want to thank everyone. Staff. Players and all those who work with passion and enthusiasm around the Nazio Nali. North Macedonia stars run onto the pitch in Palermo to celebrate after their stunning win unfortunately. In life and in football. It doesn't always go the way your expectations, objectives and dreams had planned it. From BBC under the main headline of France earn bonus point win against Italy. Summary of headline article. Last updated on. From the section Rugby Union Women's Six Nations. France secure bonus point win against Italy TikTok Women's Six Nations. France v Italy France. 17. 39 tries. Fall. Grow. Murray. Boulard. Jacquet. Pens. Drew and two. Cons. Drew and two. Tremoulier to Italy. Six. Six pens. Solari to France stifled a determined Italy to open their women's six nations with a gritty. Bonus point win in Grenoble. Madusu Fall and Emmeline Gros tries helped Les Blues, who are seeking a first title since 2018. To a 17-6 lead at halftime. Italy continued to challenge but tries from Lee Murray. Emily Boulard and Chloe Jacquet sealed a French win. Line UPS France. Jacquet. Murray. Philippon. Vernier. Castel. Druin. Chambon. Dishays. Sochat. Joya. Fall. Forlani. Menager. Hermit. Gro. Italy. Ferlin. Mutso. Solari. Dinka. Magati. Rigoni. Stefan. Maris. Bettany. Guy. Tunesi. Duca. Saberna. Locatelli. Giordano. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.